no disco, the, balls, no nightclubs, no nightclubs, no bars, uh, whether from the previous or the local ones, all are not allowed on Wasini. All are not allowed. No bars, no drugs, yeah. no theft, yes. no prostitution, nothing. Yeah. It's paradise. Though. Yeah, people live, paradise. People paradise. live according to Islamic codes and conducts. Wow. Yeah. If you are a Christian, you live according to the codes, Christianity of codes. Yeah. yeah. Which is very similar. Yeah. Of which I'm very sure none of the religion encourages crime. Yeah. Crime. Yeah. yeah. All religion needs people to, to live harmoniously. And we selected that condition. That's why we live in a very harmonious life. We love each other. We live as brother and sister there. We are all from one another sister. And do anybody drink alcohol? In? Yes. Is there any alcohol? Yes. Is it Some they take a cross. People, people, yeah. people do drink alcohol, but you, you have to homes. drink on the mainland or you take it to your home. Yeah. Not anywhere. Not exposed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There are also restaurants that serve food, yeah. but they don't sell alcohol. Yes, yeah. It's only juices from yes. fresh. Or, uh, fruits. And the people do famine in this. How do you have, where do you get the food from? Is uh, it, is they, it are the they, they are retail shops. People yeah. come to the mainland, buy stocks, fill in their retail shops. Then people do buy. It. So people don't, don't grow food. They don't grow food in here. Yeah. Are they farmers? Uh, they are not farmers because Wasini is totally a coral island. It's coral. It's coral island. And the few areas with the soil, also soil fertility is very, very low. That is due to too much accumulation of salt, salt in, the, uh, yeah. in the soil. What we only do is for fun. We do what we call garden farming. Behind your homestead, you fence, you do mixed cropping. Yeah. Just for fun, not even for, for substance, substantial. And how old is the village? How old is this? How old? Uh, it has centuries. It has centuries. Because since the 11th century, people have been living on Wasin Island. During, yes. during Vasco da Gama's exploration, already Wasini was inhabited. So, Vasco da Gama he did not discover Wasin. He did not discover. Yes, I hope, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Because some books will say he discovered many places. <laughs> he found us in it, he did not discover us in it. He did not discover us Okay. He found people already. He found there. people living there, yes. There were the Chinese and the Arabs, plus the locals living there. As, 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 as we shall be taking our tour to the village, you're going to see ruins that date back the 13th centuries and the 14th centuries when the Arabs were living or were undertaking their slavery trade. They were living on Wasini Island. Shimoni slave cave it was only used as a warehouse, but the Arabs themselves were living on Wasini Island. Right. We are also going to visit the earliest, earliest mosque to be built in East Africa. It was built 1701. It's on Wasini Island. The earliest mosque. The earliest mosque. Built by who? Who built the mosque? Yeah, it was built by the Shirazi tribe who were living here, yeah. and they were the locals. And we are their, 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 their descendants now. Yeah. They collaborated with the Arabs and built the mosques. 1701. And the mosque is still there or is it ruined? It's still there. It's still there. Renovated. It's being renovated. It is in a good condition. You won't believe. Because Muslims do preserve their yeah. heritage. And because it's a mosque, it cannot be left in Hauli. It has to be taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. See, and the groups, those are, those are students who came to learn on Wasin Island. That's the group that is descending. Those are the coming. Yeah. They came in the morning, they went to the Coral Garden. There is a place known as Coral Garden. It was once a deep sea. But uh, it's no longer deep sea, but still it's, it's, it's a sea point. Whereas when it's during springtime, sea water do spread to the nearby homesteads. It's a women project, so it acts as a mechanism that unites the women on Wasin Island. 
um, so they did it, they did that, they did that, their projects. You pay something, then you go in, you see the dead corals and the mangroves as you walk on a wooden bridge. But they now replace it to a plastic bridge, not a wooden bridge. Right. Yeah. So if you have the interest, we go, we go there direct first. We see. We then start to the village. How long does it take to go around the village? Um. Because the last point I'm going to take you is at the primary school. We shall take maybe one hour. One hour. The tour on Wasin Island, then we come back. Yeah. Or depending on you. If you say it's enough, one hour, one yeah, five minutes. minutes, we come back. Because yeah. most of the historical sites are nearby. nearby, yeah, nearby. Right. Yeah. I'm going to take you to the primary school. You see the male and the female baobab tree. Yeah. A baobab tree that has taken fully uh, male genitals and a baobab tree which has taken fully female genitals. <laughs> yeah, that's Taking up our shoes? Yeah. Uh, due to, to due to an advanced condition of the uh, of the Iowa Island, we were forced to take off our shoes. So as we a little bit step on water, this is sea water. So as we can reach the dry geographical part of the island. And the group which is happy, these are students who came to us in the island just to learn about the corals and the mangroves plus the historical culture of the people of Wasini. Uh, due to both Basi, also we've got the chance to be on Wasini Islands. We are also going to see more and learn more about Wasini Islands. Then I'll take a chance at the last to welcome you to Wasini Island, being one of the habitants on Wasini Island. Thank you. Thank you. Because I lost, I lost. First of all, I did lost my phone. It was stolen, not lost the gate. I went to Kunda. No, I went to Kunda with some clients. Yeah. And then I just left it on the table for only 20. I'm very, very glad to welcome you on our paradise islands that is famously known as Wasimi Islands. 
uh, Wasin Island is one of the tourist or one of the tourism destinations where whereby all the tourists from the hotels in Mombasa and Biani do come to Wasini for their day tour, especially during lunchtime. After the lunch proceeds, visiting the village of which is a Swahili historical village, which also has a history that dates back the 11th, 12th, and 13th centuries when the world was overwhelmed by a slavery trade. The, slave, the Arab slave merchants used to live on Wasini Island. Now here then, I take this very precious up of opportunity to welcome you on Wasini Island. This is Wasini Island, right from my where I'm pointing. At my right, at the other end, at my left as well. That marks the length of Wasini Island now. It has an approximate measure of seven kilometers length and four kilometers wide. But due to geographical nature, the part of the island we are, it is very, very narrow. Whereas the settlement area from the sea point one, where you can see the sea point two, is only about 100 or 120 meters. We shall only count a number of four to five houses. We shall have arrived to another sea point. But as you proceed to my right now, where I'm, where I'm facing, the island whites and gets the exact four kilometers dry land of the island. And this is an island that has two main villages. It has a village known as Wasini where we are. It's Wasini village. And we have another village at the end, it's known as Mkwiro village. There is where personally I was born. Schooled at Mkwiro village. My parents live there. But I'm working as a tour guide. I've been several times to Wasini village. So, as I said, it is an island. Definitely, we are, we, there are some challenges that we are facing because we are isolated from the mainland whereby the access to too many social issues becomes a barrier. Here on this island, the challenge number one we get, we do not have an underground permanent source of fresh water. If you dig a well, what comes out is pure, bitter, salty water. So for the islanders to have fresh water, it has to rain. It has to rain. So as it rains, we trap the rainwater, we preserve them into our underground water catchments. We use them for some times when the end, we have to cross the mainland for fresh water. That is one. Two, we do not have secondary schools on this island. For the day scholars have to cross daily in the morning to the mainland at Humoni for their schooling and bring, bring back them in the evening for the day scholars. Again, being an island, we, as I said, we've been isolated. We do not have proper means of evacuation on this island. That is, we do not also have proper roads. There are no border borders, no tuk-tuks, no matatus on Wasin Island. So for one, to move from point A to B depends on how much your muscles can carry. Um, in terms of roads, still the government has, yeah, has left the, the island behind. It is undeveloped, although it is one of the tour tourism destinations. I don't know, is it maybe of, of preserving the culture or what? but still we don't have proper roads. We, we shall be walking just in between houses, narrow ways or narrow passages. There are no white roads on Wasini Island. Another, one of, another challenge is you cannot cultivate on Wasini Island. The reason is Wasini Island is totally a coral island. And the few areas that maybe you can get soil also, the soil fertility is very, very low. This is due to too much accumulation of soils in the soil. What we only do here on Wasin Island, we do the garden farming. Behind your homestead, you fence, you do the mixed cropping just for fun. 
not even for subsistence purposes. Another challenge, we do not have electricity on Wasemi Island. It's one of the areas whereby now it becomes earlier than anywhere. It's now, whereas the World Bank thought of Wasin Island and started to install the solar panel installation electricity on Wasin Island, as we shall be walking on our way, we shall be seeing main lines and posts, but it's still ongoing process. Still, we are, we are living in darkness. For those who are able, they can buy the solar pan they, they bought the solar panels and for those who are not able we are still in the local systems we use the lamps and the latrines that's what we do in wasini island but when you go to the advantages here on wasini island first of all we live under zero crime zone it's the only place remaining in kenya where someone can forget his property and find it the next time uh, another advantage, we live as one community. We are all under one, one ancestor. What differs is only the family units, but we are all under one ancestor. As well, we do know each other by names on Wasin Island here. As I told you, the population of Wasin Island is 3,500 people. We are all under one ancestor. We do know each other by names. So if someone knows you by name, that means also knows your behavior. As I told you, here on Wasin Island, Wasin Island, the greater population of the people are Muslims. So the only holy buildings we have on Wasin Island are, are the mosques. We also have the earliest mosque to be built in East Africa, whereas it was built in the year 1701. We have it here on Wasini Island and nowhere else. Welcome to Wasini Island as we proceed with our tour. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't pause it. Uh, this is a fenced graveyard. It is a holy place for the islanders or for the inhabitants. This is a graveyard for our ancestors now. The great 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 grandfather of the natives of Wasini was buried here and the other graves are graves of his sons, daughters, grandsons and the descendants of him. This is a conserved communal graveyard. And that huge tree you see that is a baba tree. Don't be surprised and ask yourself what kind of tree is this? This is a baba tree. So as we walk, as we walk on Wasin Island, we, we shall also find that there are buildings that look like ruins. They are really ruins and these buildings date back the 11th, the 12th, the 13th century where the slave trade was ongoing because the slave merchants used to live on Wasini Island. You will also find people resembling Arabs. Those are the descendants of the slave merchants because they used to live on Wasini Island. They used the Shimoni slave caves as their warehouse to store their commodities. The slave. So the slave owners, mm -hmm. owners and the slaves are now living together. Yeah. Uh, am I correct to say that? No. So the slave owners, those that were actually trading the slaves, yeah. and the slaves themselves are now living in the same community. Uh, so the, the Arabs. No, no, were no those, the Arabs. Yeah. The Arabs. The Arabs were the slave merchants. Those selling the slaves. They were selling the slaves. Yeah. And the natives. They were not taken as slaves. Most of the slaves were taken from the interior. Right, right. Yeah. And what you can see about farming, that is the style of farming we have. Or we do once on Wasin Island. So garden farm. Yeah, it's a garden farming. Because their main economic activity is fishing for both men and women. 
the men go to the deep sea and the women do later to the reefs to look for octopus and shells during low tides. That is how we live. With the foundations of the ruins, this also dates back to those centuries. And now we are proceeding to a place known as the Coral Garden. It was once the, a deep sea, but due to global warming effects, it's no longer the, a deep sea, but we are going to see remains of cor okay, corals. Okay, to do videos, yeah? Yes. Okay, to do videos. Yeah, let's okay. go it. We're going to see remains, remains of dead corals plus live mangroves. And this, these are one of the community, one of the community people that are doing the local tradings here. They do sell what we call potatoes or viazi karai in Swahili language. We also have this we call ababa fruits. How is that made? Uh, it is made, it is made for, uh, it is ababa fruits. It is being colored food coloring plus sugar it is very delicious very very delicious and we have the and shells this, here okay key holder, the key these holder. are shells as i told you the main economic activity to the people of Vosini is fishing for both men and women now women do go to the sh to the reef during low tide to look for shells like what i'm holding they turn the shells into key holders now and the men go to the deep sea to look for fish and this becomes their main economic activity and we are making chapati and yeah. so you promote the lady the, the mama you promote chapati. Yeah. they chapati. also have chapati. have chapati chapati is here also we make chapati here this chapati is what we call chapati yeah. one of the swahili dishes Can I have one chapati? Okay. So we are here to promote the community a bit. So the people from this island, yeah. what ethnicity are they? What are they Bantus? Are they uh, no. What ethnicity uh, no. are they? Well, what we do is we, we are not the Bantus, but we are squeezed dialects among the Digos. We, we still we do not have the national code. We are, we are squeezed among the Digos, but we are not really Digos. Because our origin, our origin is, especially the natives from Wasini, is from Tanzania, a place known as Bumbaku, and some of them are the descendants of the Arabs. As you can see, the faces of the pe of the kids look like Arabs. The Arabs are there, or people look like Arabs. They are that we are the descendants of the Arabs who are trading the slaves now. And also, when you need you need the food here, Swahili dish, you can come to Hadija, Hadija, the lady of Kwasini. Uh, okay, I'll well, good, Hadija. Uh, I'll try the chapati. We, we, I am prepared the food, Swahili dishes here. What kind of food? Uh, rice, coconut rice, and the soup, and the seaweed. We have the seaweed from the coral garden there. Pilau. Uh, pilau, biryani. biryani. The fish also. Mm. So you are welcome. Many points. Yeah, although so the, the, the people that are here mm. were they slaves or they were slave men? They, they were slave merchants. So was your grandfather a slave or a slave? Merchant? A slave merchant. He was a collaborator. A collaborator. He was a collaborator. Okay. Let's put it. Okay, we promoted the women. We are biting chapatis. This is one of the Swahili dishes. And we are proceeding to a place known as the Kokoni Bridge or the Coral Garden. It's a women project that unites the women. We are now at Kokoni Bridge. This is a women project or it is known also as the Coral Garden. Just due to presence of the corals, 
we are getting into this women project uh this is the price board and this is the structure of the bridge it was earlier and about these buildings what you can see all these colored you can see these are plastic bottles we decided to do the plastic control pollution in such a way we use the plastic bottles we fill in sand and we make bricks using the plastic bottles this becomes a, a free plastic zone wasini instead of it being a free uh, or a zero crime zone we also need it to be a zero plastic zone we would like the world to join us in this as well this is only an innovation found on wasini island nowhere it has happened if you decide the cost of using the cement, you do not need to paint or plaster the house now because the plastics act as the decorations and the insides, the top, the, 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 the bottle tops act as the colors now. We are now at the Wasini Women Group Bodywork Offices where we have to make the payments pass as the fees then we proceed in, we see the dead corals and the late mangroves as well as we see the rearing fields for young crabs and also small fishes that will then, those will, uh, will then proceed to the open sea. The Wasini Women Group for the work. It acts as a mechanism that unites the women of Wasini so as they can add something and divide annually also pay the PTA teachers, those who are not employed with the government. Also facilitate our dispensaries in case there is shortage of medicines in our, in our dispensaries. The place was known as the Coral Garden just because due to the neat display and eyes are deceived of the, of, of, of the natural corals. The place, it was once a deep sea, but it's no longer a deep sea. But still, it is still a sea point. Here during spring tides, sea water do come to the nearest home states. So as we proceed in, we shall be seeing wonders of gold. There are corals that take structure according to your own imagination. And the holes you see, all those are hibernating areas for the young crabs. All these holes. This is the sea point. You can see the rocks, some look like elephants, like rhinos, like what you can imagine in your eye. It was once a deep sea, but it's no longer a deep sea. That's why we are stepping on the ground. But if it will be the deep sea, maybe the submariners will have been here looking for us. But it's no longer a deep sea, and that was all due to global warming effects. Uh, it's one day happened an earthquake that started all the way from the deep sea, which was leading to Wasini Island. But due to God mercy, as you know, an earthquake has two effects, whether raising the land or submerging the land. Due to God mercy, when the earthquake arrived Wasini, it, or it approached Wasini village, it automatically changed its motion from submerging to raising the land. By the time it arrived here, it raised the land. That's all the waters that was here drained behind Wasini Island, which is almost 3.5 kilometers behind me. The deep sea drained there and the area remains dry as it is. It is currently a rearing field for the small fishes and the small crabs. That's why we are now seeing the small or the holes. These are for the young crabs to hibernate. If they grow big, they all go inside the mangrove. As you know, crabs is one of the seafood platter. It is also a natural Viagra. You do not have to go for those medicines that have have side effects you just take seafood you come active you give more kids to your to, to your wife without 
using or without getting any effects. And the glasses that I'm stepping on, these are not the natural glasses. These are known as the seaweeds or the sea glasses. It's one of the very delicious vegetables we have on our island. It is very unique. It is nowhere found rather than was in island. It is cooked with coconuts. It is being served only after 30 minutes. Once you take this a full barrel, mind you, you will have announced the silent war on beds. It catalyzes all those passions and bed, but it's one of the seafood platter or one of the seafood that we do have on Wasini. All the tourists that visit Wasini Island during their, their lunch do go to the restaurants and also they have the taste of the sea grass. Also, the goats we have here on Wasini Island is the same grasses. We have very, very nutritious muttons. Uh, the cows we have also eat the same grasses. We have very nu nutritious, nutritious beef on Wasini Island. This place which was all under the sea. And this is the wooded bridge. It was built in 2002. It was built in 2000, officially opened in 2002 by the former U.S. Ambassador who was done as the, uh, William Bellamy is the one who officially opened this project. But as time went, as you know, anything made by human being, it must have worn out or it must get worn. So it is now being replaced from the wooden wooden bridge to a plastic uh, to a plastic uh, plastic bridge. As we are proceeding ahead, we shall be reaching a place where the plastics now have started to be built, and to proceed for the whole bridge. It will be a plastic bridge, not a wooden bridge again. And about the greenish, you see those what is what we call mangroves and we have three species of mangroves here and for all these species they do propagate and they do propagate due to conducive environments of the area of course this is this area is under conservation of the women group no one is allowed to break down the rocks or to cut down the, the mangroves because all these acts are the decatalization to the sea or to the heavy wave that descends the behind the cliff and brings water to this place. So these, these mangroves and the corals act as a decatalization. And as you can see, these are also nurseries, new mangroves. All these are nurseries of new mangroves have started growing and for a mangrove to propagate it's only very simple. It's only the fruit to mature. Once the fruit matures, because it is tipped at the bottom, so it falls down and it sticks in the mud, the tip area will turn to be the roots and the top part turns to be the shoot that is a new mangrove has started growing. I did not approach with this only but I'm planting it again. I know it will propagate or it will proceed growing. I have to make knowledge about these mangroves. This is one kind of uh, uh, fruits that's a fruit by, by produced by a kind of a mangrove and they differ in size also. With this fat one here, this is the fruit of another type of a mangrove now. As you can see, this is very thin and this is thick. This is a type, this is a, a fruit of a different type of a mangrove and this is also a fruit of a, a, a different type of a mangrove. The different size and we, have, we also have another type of a mangrove which have very long fruits. 
with a very big crown holding to the main branch. As we are proceeding inside the mangrove forest, if we find one, I'm going to show you, but I'm sure you've seen the two types that I've shown you. This is a nursery. You be able, and that's a young crab. As I tell you, as I told you, this is a hibernation or a hibernating a, a rearing field for the young crabs, and the holes are for them to hibernate. Those are young crabs. As they grow big, they go inside the mangrove, but the fishermen go look for them and sell them to the restaurants at a very high price. Tourists to eat them at the seafood platter. See now this is, is exactly the nursery. This is a nursery bed before it is being taken to the main ground. Some of them have already been taken to the main ground and they have started produce, producing the leaves as you can see and some are maturing now. Um, the fruit I, shown, I showed you earlier with this, uh, this nursery with the narrow, it is very very narrow this kind of mangrove it is here this is the fruit now but it is still young is it edible by monkeys maybe not human but as as time goes it will proceed growing and it will grow longer to at least six uh, to at least six to seven inches just like this one when it matures it will automatically cut itself from the main branch here and it will fall down. So as, because it is steeped at the bottom, once it falls down, because it is muddy here, it will stick like this. So once it, it, it sticks like that, it's already a new mangrove that starts to, to grow. It will stay for three months. The crown will be, will be pulled off by, the, by water that comes here. Then, the crown part will act the shoots like this one now and the tipper part will act to be the root or the, the uh, this is the shoot and the root that is how a mangrove propagates just simply as that for all the three types type number one number two i showed you and the number three which is longer the number four is different and it has or it also has a different kind of fruit it's fruit it, lo it, it looks like a, it's a, a ball but because we don't have it near here let me proceed with the with the type number two kind of fruits which is almost maturing it's here but th by the time it will mature it will cut itself automatically from the main branch and it will fall down there are so many here so this we have the ability to cut them and share with my, my friend here to have also donated in the world in free or green revolution. We are going to plant some with my colleague. Captain have the US too. Yeah, the way to plant this. You just come down, you tip it the way. That is mine one, and this is two. Okay. Uh, okay, we are also taking part in green revolution. We are planting new mangroves here. We not only donate for the women, but also donate the world to change in global warming. Thank you. So let's proceed. Wow. Let's 
this is crazy, man. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, now this is a tunnel. This is also a tunnel that brings water from the sea. I told you it is a rare fill for the fish. All what you see are going round, those are small fishes. Do you see them? So the sea water still comes all the way here. Yeah. Every in the variation of tide for six hours. The sea water will push sea, on. Sea, sea water will come here. It's mangrove post. Yeah, it's one of the hardest. Before it was burned from being cut down. Yeah. No. They, they they took a permit from Kenya Forests. Yeah. And because they were the natives, they decided they were given the the permits to do it. Yes. Okay, now this is the start of the mangrove forest now. It is almost 3.5 kilometers coverage of mangroves. And as I told you we have them in three species. This is species number one here. As you can see the difference in terms of leaves. And this is type number two. This is the kind of mangrove that have the longest type of fruit. It is also thick and smooth with a big holding crown. The bad lucky, it is not a fruit producing time for it, but I could also have gotten time to show you the kind of a fruit. Now this is the Cape Town. After the sun, we have a bit rest here. And it also marks the beginning of the new constructed plastic bridge. Instead of the wooden one. And where's the plastic from? Uh, they are being imported from Mombasa. Yeah. So this is now a plastic bridge. We are taking a walk on it. It is very, very firm and conducive compared to the other, other one. Although some people liked the plastic, the, the, the wooden one from mangrove. But for the sake of security, these plastic poles or the plastic bridge, it is much more stronger and better. And it will take a long, long distance coverage because it goes round all over. But for our sake, we won't reach the end. Uh, we won't go round because it is still under construction. We'll reach a place, then we come back again using the same route. It is not easy to break it. So is this where the guys get the crabs from? When yeah. They, when they're bigger. Yeah. When the crabs are big now, they do come hibernate inside the mangroves. And these are the mangroves now. As they grow big, they, they turn to be the poles. It's one of the hardest poles we have on one, one of the hardest timbers we have. And this is uh, type number three. As you can see, the difference in the leaves. Its leaf is thin and long. Its fruit is short, fat, and is strapped just like rainbow. It is also not a fruit producing time for it. That's why I won't get time to show you the fruit.
here marks the end now because the construction is still ongoing but the bridge takes someone round if you want my brother we descend down we go <laughs> okay we're now turning away after the consensus decision that we won't go down we are turning our way back we meet our colleague Let me go in front. Now this is one of the earliest mosques built in East Africa. It was built by the Arabs with collaboration with the Shirazi people in the year 1701 as indicated on the wall at the top and the small holes you see were the initial windows of this mosque in those days but to get the mosque is in use because muslims do conserve their heritage that's why up to date we have the mosque and it is one of the very very famous and respected mosques we have on this island we have ended our tour on Wasini Island for everything you've seen that becomes our heritage. And now we are going back to the mainland where we started our trip and we say goodbye Wasini. Remain at your original status. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. So, so far we, we are about to come to the end of our tour from Wasin Islands and we are approaching Shimoni Jetty, the delighting place. So on behalf of my kindly captain and the crew on board, we say thank you very much for your cooperation you've given us. So if anybody would like to say thanks to the captain and the crew, you are highly welcomed. And again, on the behalf, we wish you a safe journey back to your respective hotels or the respective uh, ambassadors to the others. Leave all the good about us and leave the worst us behind your backs. Please be the good ambassadors. Thank you very much.